If you're a dog owner, you want your fur baby to stay healthy, but there are certain treats out there that have a hidden and possibly deadly danger. Yes, and Dr. Courtney, Courtney Campbell is here. He's back. He's a veterinarian and the host of Vet Candy on Facebook Watch. Uh, some important information and warnings for dog lovers who are starting, who, who treat their dog with pig ears. Yes. It's good to see you again, yeah, Doctor. Yeah, thanks for having me. Can yes. we talk about Pinto here, yes. too, though? Well, we've <laughs> got to talk about Pinto because Pinto and I, we think that this story is super important because it's, you know... It, there's a reason why pig ears and salmonella are just grabbing headlines all across the country, and yeah. it's because the CDC has warned about it, and it's really hurting some people. It made a, about 100, 427 people ill. Unfortunately, there may be more. And but it's not just the dogs that you're not, saying. It's spreading it's to spreading human beings. It's spreading oh, to people, wow. too. And that's what I think is so interesting about this story, is that it highlights not only the closeness and the bond we have, but that pets and humans handle salmonella completely differently. How so? Well, here's the deal. Salmonella lives everywhere, right? And it makes people sick, vomit, diarrhea, that sort of thing. Pets, when it, when it comes to salmonella, are a little bit hardier. They're a little bit sturdier. What that means is they may come in contact with salmonella on a pig ear and show absolutely no signs. So they may have salmonella, not look ill, but they're just naturally excreting it into the environment. And then unwittingly, humans pick it up, without good hygiene or hand mm -hmm. washing, and it makes them sick. So to be clear, some dogs will get sick from salmonella, but the greater majority of them actually act not ill at all, and they show no signs. They're but, carriers. But then it They're could affect yeah. their owners, and that's Absolutely, the point here. Absolutely, 100%. What? And there are people out there who are on various medications or don't have really strong immune systems, the young, the yeah. old, if you're on chemo, and that's the last thing you want is to be in contact with salmonella. So you know? what can you do? Well, here's the thing. I always say, and Pinto and I agree, <laughs> if you are, uh, if you have pig ears in the house, handle it like raw meat. Essentially, if they play with it, when they're done, wash your hands, put it in a special location. Don't have the pig ears where there's people food and vice versa. Of course, hand sanitizers. And then, of course, just find an alternate, an alternate toy. Let's see if Pinto's interested. Hey, Pinto. <laughs> See, you just find an alternate toy. I'm you interested. Yeah, you, you don't even have to have pig I ears. Up. I so I, I just find it a different alternative, you know? Okay. The, I, how do you treat, if you do, because you said they sure. typically don't show signs. Sure. Is the treatment the same for humans as it is for animals? Well, here's, here's the deal. Normally, antibiotics are not prescribed for dogs who have salmonella who are just simply carriers. Now, if a dog is sick from salmonella, yeah. clearly there are emergency treatments that needed to be done and on the human side clearly if you vomit or have diarrhea or you have a fever yeah. go see your doctor right so okay. but the treatment is just a little bit different because they tend to not show any signs yeah let's talk about another big concern